Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to build your very own Pokey MMO PvP team. This is going to be a complete comprehensive guide where I take you through the tools that you need to build the team, the rules that you should follow when building a team, how to get the Pokemon that you need to form your team, and how to do damage calculations to make sure you win more of your games. Alrighty, let's jump in. The first tool that everybody needs to know about is the Pokey MMO PvP tab. And to do that, I'm changing my scene. It's down here, right here, and PvP statistics. You can see what Pokemon are currently being used, their usage rate, and their win rates. You can go down the list and look at each one. You can also click into them and see exactly what item most, most people are running and what nature most people are running. From this, oh, you can also see their most common allies, which is very helpful when building your own team. The next tool that everybody should know about is going to be something like this, a team builder where you can put in the Pokemon that you want. So right here I have my team that I just built using this, and then you can calculate their type coverages. So here we see the total weaknesses for the types. So right here, I'm, I'm most weak to flying and I have one resist, but I know that most people don't run flying attacks on their Pokemon, so I'm not too worried about it. But really you want the least amount of weaknesses and more resists. If you've got some weaknesses, like here I've got two grass weaknesses, you want resist to balance that out. All right, the other cool thing about this tool is we can go into advanced mode or yeah advanced mode and we can give each pokemon the move that we're, that we're planning on using and we can even put in enemy pokemon and we can see what like here let me just put in the moves real quick for you guys all right so i entered some of the moves that my pokemon have and I just entered the moves that actually do damage. And for Superior, he's got Hidden Power Fire, not Fire Punch. But you can't actually put in Hidden Power Fire on this software. So I just put Fire Punch instead. And then, so I put those moves in. And I put in like some of the toughest meta Pokemon right now as the enemy team. And then we can see our type coverage against them. And we see that most of my Pokemon do have super effective moves against them. The only threat here being Kingdra, but Superior is pretty much a hard counter to Kingdra. Then we can see the overall type coverage with my moves. And we can see that maybe Electric might be tough to deal with. Uh, fighting types might be hard to deal with because I don't have any flying type moves. And then maybe Ghost. So maybe I'd want to adjust my team a little bit, put Brave Bird on Skarmory, and maybe put like Hex on my Jellicent, and that would cover those types as well. Next tool that we have is this one. And this is Smogan's, uh, this is Smogan's PVP uh, database, basically. And it's got all the Pokemon in here from every single generation. Like maybe we want to look for Steelix. If we wanted to put a Steelix on our team, what kind of sets are good to run? And we can see that this leftover set with Stealth, Rock, Earthquake, Gyro, right? So there's plenty of different sets that we could run. And there's even another one here, another one here. We could search, maybe we want to run Garchomp. Let's look at Garchomp. We can see the exact sets that people can people run on this. And a lot of times Pokey MMO is a little bit different because right, some abilities are banned in Smogan and some abilities are banned in Pokey MMO, right? There's just different Pokemon, there's a different meta, of course, but this will definitely give you some ideas on different sets that you can run, especially move sets. And the last tool that I have for you guys is going to be the Pokemon Showdown Team Builder. So here I went, I did Gen 5 OU, 
and I built my team in Gen 5 OU exactly how I wanted it. And you can adjust the stats. And here you can see like the speed stat, which is really important for PvP. You can see the exact speed stats. And if you wanted to compare like different speed stats, like I don't know, does Volcarona outspeed like a Starmie if the Starmie isn't invested in speed type of thing? And you could see the exact speed stats and see if you'd outspeed or not. And then, or like maybe like a Scarfed Mon, if you wanted to put a Scarf on a Rotom you, and you wanted it to outspeed the Jolly Garchomp, then you would be able to figure out exactly how much speed that you would need in order to, to outspeed the Garchomp. The other good thing about this is you can flesh out every detail of your team, their item, their moves, their abilities, and you can see exactly how you're going to want to buy your Pokemon and set them up. Alrighty, now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the PvP rules that you guys should follow in order to build the best team that you can. So, the first rule for your team is that you need to have a rocker on your team. Basically just any Pokemon that can set up rocks because rocks are so so important and they're so so good for PvP. So on my team I have my Skarmory as my stealth rocker. The next rule is you're going to want a Pokemon as to defog away rocks or rapid spin away rocks. And on my team that again is going to be my Skarmory. My Skarmory is going to be my defogger and my rocker at the same time. Next, you're going to want a setup mon or maybe two setup mons. Ones that you can set up with like a Dragon Dance or Quiver Dance, Outspeed and Sweep their entire team. On my team, that's going to be Volcarona. I have Quiver Dance and Volcarona is an excellent Pokemon for sweeping teams. The next thing that you're going... Oh, and Superior is also a great sweeping Pokemon because of Contrary with Leaf Storm. The next thing that you're going to want is you're going to want some status moves. You want moves that you can spread status. So on my team, I've got my Will-O-Wisp. And I also have Glare. I have Will-O-Wisp on my Jellicent, and I have Glare on my Superior in order to burn or paralyze my opponents. It's also good to have a Pokemon with Toxic, but I don't have any on this team. That's okay. And next, you're going to want like at least two Pokemon with priority moves in order to outspeed like the fastest Pokemon that you face. So on my team, I've got my Mamoswide with Ice Shard, and I also have Conkledur with Mach Punch. Now, once you have your team fleshed out and you have a good handle on the tools that you can use, now you're going to want to go to PvP. You're going to look at the stats page again, and you're going to go through these top 10 or 15 Pokemon in the meta, and you're going to think to yourself exactly how you're going to counter these Pokemon. So if a Garchomp comes in, what can you send in to counter that Garchomp, either force it out or kill it? Then you just think about the Scizor, think about that Dragonite, right? You just go down the list, and you just think about exactly how you're going to counter it, and maybe uh, there's a Pokemon on here that you can't think of a way you're, you can counter it with your current team, then you might want to think about adjusting your team a little bit or just accept that you're going to have a weakness in that area. Right, so for my team, how am I going to deal with Garchomp? Well, I could send in my Mamoswine and just Ice Shard it. Or my Superior has Dragon Pulse. That could deal with Garchomp. Next, Scizor. How am I going to deal with Scizor? Well, Volcarona is an excellent counter to Scizor. Dragonite? How can I counter Dragonite? Well, I think Will-O-Wisp will definitely do a number on a Dragonite. Or even a Glare will definitely cripple Dragonite. And then I've also got Dragon Pulse. I've got Ice Shard. Right? Now we get, get to Rotom. How am I going to deal with Rotom? Well, Superior is a excellent counter to Rotom. Starmie. I mean, I've got... Superior again can counter Star Starmie. Titar, how am I going to counter Titar? Well, Conkledur is an excellent counter to Titar. Chansey, Conkledur is an excellent wall breaker for Chansey. If Gliscor comes in, it's a good thing I have Mamoswine. 
right? And you just go down the line and see how, exactly how you're going to deal with each Pokemon if they come in. Or how am I going to deal with a Pokemon like Dragonite if it's Dragon Danced a couple times? How am I going to make sure that I don't get swept by that Dragonite? Well, it's a good thing that I've got some priority moves in order to not get swept by Dragonite. Or even Skarmory can take a couple hits from Dragonite and then maybe use like a uh, Whirlwind to force it out. Or if I can status it, then that Dragon Dance Dragonite is not going to be nearly as potent. And then one last thing to think about is how you're going to deal with statuses. So for me, if they're running Toxic, I can always send in Skarmory, and Skarmory can't be poisoned. If they're running like Will-O-Wisp, I'll just send in Conkledur, or like any of these special attacking Pokemon, and they can take that. Ooh, you should also think about physical attackers versus special attackers. So on my team, I have three special attacking Pokemon, and I have three physical attacking Pokemon, so that I can't be countered either way. All right, now that we have our team built, it's time to buy them. So we're going to come in here, we're going to go to the PC, and we're going to buy them because it's a big pain to build them yourself. Buying them is just going to be so, so much easier, and it's, it's way more worth it to buy your Pokemon than breed them yourself. And a lot of times you'll find better deals on them anyways because people are constantly buying and selling these Pokemon, and sometimes they don't know exactly the value of them. So here you're just going to search your 31 by 5 if you're looking for like a, a Jolly Garchomp or something, or maybe like an Adamant, Adamant Dragonite. Like this is a set that a lot of people like to run is a multi-scale Adamant Dragonite. Right here, this is the cheapest one. And it doesn't have the right attacks on it, but it's the cheapest one and you can always put the, the attacks that you want onto the Dragonite. So in order to put the right moves onto it, you're going to right buy the correct TM, or you can talk to these guys with the silver hair. They're going to be in every uh, Poke Center, and you can just get the moves from these guys. Otherwise, there's also tutors that have some special moves that maybe you can't get otherwise. If you don't have the money to buy a 5 by 31 natured Pokemon, you can always by um, like mostly good Pokemon by just doing 31 attack, 31 speed, and then do like 25 in defenses and HP. And a lot of times you'll find Pokemon that are way cheaper. So here we'll search Dragonite again, and we will see what comes up. And here we see an adamant one for 450,000 with the hidden ability. So that is like e less than half the price of one that is perfect IVs. Or maybe you're searching for a Pokemon that's really slow and maybe you don't necessarily care about speed at all. So you could search for like maybe a Ferrothorn with 31 in attack and defenses and see how much a Ferrothorn costs here. And you can see a Ferrothorn, Brave Ferrothorn is 420,000, right? If you wanted the 31 speed as well, it'd be way, way more expensive. Again, it's much easier just to buy your Pokemon off the GTL rather than build them yourself. Instead, I would recommend getting money some other way by either flipping or doing your gym reruns or catching Pokemon and then just buy your competitive Pokemon. All right, so here's my complete team. All of these are 5 by 31 natured Pokemon. Most of these costed between a million and a million two. So this team literally costed me about six and a half to seven million for this team. And now I think it's about time that we test it out and pr give it some practice. And also I'm going to show you guys the tool that we can use during battle that will help us win more games. Alrighty, here we go. It's my first time ever using this team. So... Please be nice in the comments. Here, let's get into a zoomed mode. And it looks like we are going against a Sun team. And we shall see how we match up against this. So I'm guessing he'll either lead Torkoal or maybe his Darmanitan. And I think that we should 
probably lead our Jellicent. Mm. Yeah. Jellicent could be a good lead here. So we're going to do that. Leads Torical to set up Sun. And here we can throw off a Hydro Pump. Try and force him out. Or even Taunt because he might try and set up Rocks. So if he tries to set up rocks, but also he could switch into his Executor or Venusaur. So here I am going to taunt, actually. And it looks like he's trying to set up rocks. Oh, he tried using Toxic on me. And now I'm guessing he's going to swap out probably into Venusaur. So do I want to predict that and go to Volcarona? Well, he can't really touch me with this Torkoal, so I think I do want to predict that. Perfect, perfect. All right, now we can Quiver Dance for free. Oh, he's, he's using Growth. Maybe we should have just fiery danced. I thought he would swap out. Because I don't know if I'm faster than him now. Yeah. That might kill me. Holy cow. That was close. Alright, well at least we got rid of the Venusaur. And hopefully we can get a Giga Drain off or get maybe another kill. We'll see if Scizor comes in to bullet punch me. Looks like Executor is coming in. I don't even know if... Is Executor faster than me here? Maybe we just go for another Fiery Dance. Oh, withdraws it. Okay, interesting, interesting play. Wonder why he didn't just go Torkoal in the first place. Maybe he thought I would swap out. Oh, okay. It was to let me kill myself with the the life orb, I see. Now that sun is not up, I think maybe... I don't know, we've got lots of options here. He doesn't have anything that can come in on, on an Earthquake. So I think we're just going to throw off an Earthquake here. Or even Icicle Spear would be good. But uh, I think we're just Earthquake. In comes Scizor. And does a ton and tons of ton, tons of damage. And I'm guessing he's going to bullet punch me. I could always send in Jellicent. Jellicent is a great counter to Scizor. And I think I'll do that. I mean, I could have also let Mamoswine just take a take a bullet punch and kill. But uh, that's okay. We can go to Jellicent here. Now I'm guessing he swaps out. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. In comes Torical to set up Sun. And then I would not be surprised to see Darmanitan come in. Or Executor. And Executor comes in. And he's going to use like Giga Drain or something. So we're going to go to Skarmory. He also has Weather Balls, so I have to watch out for that. Okay, so he uses Psy Shock. Alright, now he's going to use Weather Ball, so it's definitely good for me to swap out here. Back into Jellicent. Okay, Hidden Power. Is that Hidden Power Fire? I wonder why he doesn't run Weather Ball. Maybe he doesn't know about it. Uh, 
Now I wonder if he does the same thing. We really have to stall out the sun because of chlorophyll. He's just faster than a lot of my guys. If he uses Psy Shock, maybe I could go into, like, if he kills me, I just go into Mammoth Swine and click Icicle Spear, and that should do it. But uh, right now, I'm kind of worried about this guy. I think we'll just go back into Skarmory. We're just going to switch around until the sun fades. Out comes Solar Beam. Luckily, Skarmory can take that very well. And I'm guessing Hidden Power Fire comes out again. But in case it doesn't, I think I'm going to Stealth Rock this time. Okay, Hidden Power Fire. That will probably kill me. That's okay, I didn't really need Skarmory in this match. And now the sunlight finally faded, so we can go into our Mammal Swine. Click Icicle Spear. And he got the cursed body on me, so that's unfortunate. I'm going to have to swap out because I have choice banded in Mammoth Swine. And hopefully he doesn't have Pursuit. I'm just going to go back and Jellicent. Pursuits me. That's okay, Mammoth Swine's a beast. And we are going to Hydro Pump. I'm faster than him because I'm running a fast Jellicent. In comes Executor. And I think maybe he'll try Solar Beam. We can... I do want to keep this for that Darmanitan, so we're going to try going into Serp here. Serp doesn't really have a good matchup against those two anyway. Okay, so he's using Solar Beam, but he doesn't have Sun, so <laughs> not really the best play in the world. We're just going to Leaf Storm to up our special attack. And the next Leaf Storm should take it out. Holy cow, Solar Beam did a lot of damage. Okay, maybe I'll just Dragon Pulse because it's 100% hit rate. And Darmanitan's going to come in. He's probably going to click Flare Blitz. I think I'm just going to stay in and take it. We always have Mach Punch in the back in case he's Scarfed. So here we're going to go Jellicent. Jellicent can take a Flare Blitz and throw off a Hydro. And boom. That's an easy win. So I didn't even use the tool that I talked about using, but let me show you the tool real quick. Tool is right here this is the tool it is the pokey mmo damage calculator so let's say we wanted to know if earthquake takes out a scissor so here we're going to check mammoth swine choice band mammoth swine and we can see the set right here and then we're going against a scissor and maybe it's an offensive sword stance scissor and we can see that Earthquake has got a very good chance to take out Scizor if it's not running any HP. Maybe we're looking at one that has... So here we can edit its EVs. Maybe we're looking at one that is running HP, 252 HP. And that's probably the one that we had just faced because we didn't take it out in one hit. right? We did about 90% damage to it. So this is just an excellent resource to use while you're doing your battles because this is specifically made for Poke MMO. 
and I'll make sure to link this one in the description as well as all the other tools that I used in this video. Otherwise, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you don't mind, please hit that like button for me so that YouTube pushes this out to more people. And subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. And leave me, co leave me any comments or suggestions that, uh, that you think might be helpful for me. Anyways, that's it for me, and I'll see you in the next one.